Artificial intelligence has been remarkable in recent years, with significant advancements paving the way for the potential achievement of artificial general intelligence. Progress in AI is unlikely to slow down, as it is predictably driven by advancements in data, algorithms, and computer power. In the field of artificial intelligence, the achievement of artificial general intelligence is a topic of much discussion and speculation. The lack of general purpose ability in AI systems, which means they lack the ability to adapt to new situations without instructions, is one of the major challenges in achieving AGI. OpenAI, a leading AI research organization, has a mission to ensure that AGI benefits all of humanity. While some experts have made predictions about the timeline for achieving AGI, there is no consensus on when it will be achieved. OpenAI was founded in 2015. Sam Altman is the CEO of OpenAI, whereas Ilya Sutskever is the co-founder and chief scientist of OpenAI, known for his significant contributions to the field of artificial intelligence, particularly in the area of deep learning. Sutskever was the star student who helped Jeffrey Hinton, one of the godfathers of AI, kick off the so-called deep learning revolution. He co-founded OpenAI in 2015 and has been actively involved in the organization's research initiatives, including the development of advanced AI models and the exploration of generative models aligned with human values. OpenAI's structure includes a non-profit entity focused on research and a for-profit subsidiary dedicated to the deployment of AI technologies. The nonprofit entity is governed by a board of directors and is responsible for the organization's research initiatives, while the for-profit subsidiary focuses on the commercialization and deployment of AI products and services. The scientists at OpenAI are primarily involved in fundamental research, including the development of advanced AI models and the exploration of generative models aligned with human values. On the other hand, the entrepreneurs and for-profit arm of the organization are engaged in the deployment of AI technologies, such as offering AI models through an API platform and guiding safety best practices. With the combined efforts of scientists and entrepreneurs at OpenAI, they developed and launched ChatGPT, a conversational AI model, as part of its efforts to advance AI capabilities and the recent launch of GPT-5. It is viewed as a significant leap in the field of AI and is considered the follow-up to GPT-4, OpenAI's most advanced chatbot. GPT-5 is expected to possess super intelligence and is actively being developed by OpenAI. At this point, AGI is something everyone should know and think about. This was the case even before the recent drama surrounding OpenAI brought the matter to light, with rumors circulating that the change in leadership was brought about by differences over safety concerns involving a leap in artificial intelligence. Whether that is true or not, and we may never know, AGI is still serious. This raises several issues, including what AGI is precisely, what it means to each of us, and what, if anything, the typical person can do to address it. AGI is a field of theoretical AI research. The goal is to develop software that can learn on its own and possess intelligence akin to that of a person. The program should be able to carry out tasks for which it was not specifically designed or taught. All of the artificial intelligence technologies available today operate inside predefined boundaries. For instance, AI models that are trained in image production and recognition are unable to create web pages. The goal of artificial general intelligence is to create AI systems with autonomous self-control, a respectable level of self-understanding, and the capacity to pick up new abilities. It is capable of resolving complicated issues in situations and environments that were not intended for it when it was developed. ChatGPT defines AGI as a highly autonomous systems that have the ability to outperform humans at most economically valuable work. AGI would possess intelligence across a broad range of tasks, similar to the general cognitive abilities of humans. Unlike narrow or specialized AI, which is designed for specific tasks, such as image recognition, 
natural language processing, or playing chess, AGI would have the capacity to understand, learn, and apply knowledge in a way that is comparable to human intelligence. Ilya Sutskever, the head scientist at OpenAI, gave a presentation at TED that was especially timely in light of the recent news about the company. He explained how artificial general intelligence may be smarter than humans in every way, and he could provide evidence for this claim using all of human knowledge. Additionally, he said an AGI may learn from itself and develop new, possibly even more intelligent AGIs. As it is evident, AGI is multidimensional. AGI's capacity for generalized tasks suggests that it will have a significantly greater impact on the labor market than earlier AIs. AI that can identify illness and read x-rays, for instance, can help physicians in their work. But an AGI that can read an x-ray, comprehend a patient's medical history, provide a recommendation, and courteously communicate that recommendation to the patient could theoretically take the position of a physician. There are enormous potential advantages and hazards for the global economy and employment. The risk increases to an existential level when you consider that AGIs have the capacity to learn and create more AGIs. It's unclear what human control mechanisms would apply to such an AGI and what decisions it would make for itself. But expert opinions vary on whether artificial general intelligence will occur in a few years or not at all. For instance, AGI will not pose an existential threat. According to Jeff Hinton, the winner of the Turing Award that is the highest honor in computer science. He predicts it will arrive in less than 20 years. Meanwhile, Yoshua Bengio, another recipient of the same award, asserts that the number of decades needed to achieve artificial general intelligence is unknown. As the aforementioned instances demonstrate, a large portion of this disparity is also due to the absence of a widely accepted definition. It's also important to remember that AGI is unlikely to occur in binary fashion, appearing one day and disappearing the next. ChatGPT appeared to many people as if it came from nowhere, although it did not. In 2019 and 2020, GPT-2 and GPT-3 came before it. Though significantly less well-known and more difficult to utilize, both were incredibly potent. Although ChatGPT 3.5 and later marked significant advancements, the general tendency was already established. AGI is also something we shall witness. A Microsoft research team, for instance, recently revealed that GPT-4 has demonstrated human reasoning, a step toward artificial intelligence. These reports, however, are frequently contested. Some contend that these observations are more suggestive of flawed testing procedures than of actual AGI. Here we were concerned that ChatGPT would replace us in our jobs. The model, Project QSTAR, has the potential to be a significant advancement in the search for artificial general intelligence, a highly autonomous subset of artificial intelligence, superintelligence that can outperform humans in the majority of activities and accumulate knowledge over time. Project QSTAR refers to a new AI model being developed by AI Powerhouse and ChatGPT owner OpenAI. Even though AGI is still a ways off, a lot of experts think the technology will eventually be able to learn cumulatively, which is another aspect of human cognition and could allow it to advance exponentially. According to a number of sources, Qs have proven to possess these qualities when working through mathematical issues. Q was able to outperform grade school pupils because of its enormous computational power, suggesting that its cognitive and reasoning abilities surpass those of contemporary AI technology. Although Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is optimistic that AGI technology will drive innovation, a number of researchers hastily pointed up the possible risks associated with Project Q. Ethicists like University of Cambridge professor Henry Shevlin found Altman's usage of the word icky in light of growing concerns about AI's potential effects on job security. Other AI experts are likewise concerned about potential advances in AGI, arguing that the field is developing too quickly to fully realize the potential of this technology. 
Although the duration of Project Q's research and potential applications are unknown, OpenAI informed board and staff members. After the researchers at OpenAI discovered the project, they sent a letter to OpenAI's board of directors alerting them to the potentially dangerous nature of the powerful algorithm for humankind. The letter did not specify the specific ethical problems, but the warnings were alarming enough for the board to remove Altman from his CEO role. The sources identified the letter as one element in a wider list of board complaints that resulted in Altman's termination, including worries about commercializing advancements before fully realizing the consequences. Requests for response from the staff member who penned the letter were not answered. OpenAI, which did not respond to requests for comment, recognized a project named Q in a letter to the board and an internal memo to staff members. A representative for OpenAI stated that the communication, which was written by seasoned executive Mira Murati, informed employees of specific media reports without addressing their accuracy. Some at OpenAI think QSTAR might represent a significant advancement in the company's quest for artificial general intelligence. After Altman's abrupt departure, which was first attributed to poor communication, he was able to secure a new job at Microsoft. When the CEO of OpenAI was not reinstated as the company's commander-in-chief, 700 out of the 770 employees threatened to take similar action. OpenAI's board was compelled to reinstate Altman as CEO when the firm was on the verge of collapse. This led to a significant reorganization of the committee and exposed significant differences within the leadership. Sutskever, who co-founded OpenAI with Altman, voted to terminate Altman. Sutskever was worried that Altman hadn't considered the potential risks associated with OpenAI's technology. The chief scientist of OpenAI also established a super-alignment team within the company to make sure that GPT-4, the technology that powers ChatGPT, and subsequent iterations won't endanger humankind. However, Sutskever afterwards apologized for removing Altman he stated on November 20 in a post on X, the previous Twitter platform. I sincerely apologize for taking part in the board's activities. I never meant to cause harm to OpenAI. After almost every member of OpenAI's staff threatened to resign, if Altman wasn't brought back, he eventually rejoined as CEO. Sutskever did not, however, show up for the spontaneous celebration of Altman's return that the staff threw. Ilya's absence from the party last night shouldn't be taken too literally. Sutskever's attorney, Alex Weingarten, said that Sutskever wants what is best for the company and has been very clear that what is best is having Sam back as CEO. In addition to bringing back Altman, OpenAI also welcomed Brett Taylor, Larry Summers, and Adam D'Angelo to the original board. Sam was thrilled to announce his return to OpenAI as CEO and is excited to have Mira back as CTO. The new board, led by Brett Taylor, Chair, Larry Summers, and Adam D'Angelo, signals a promising future. Sam expressed his gratitude to everyone who weathered the uncertainties with him. He paid special thanks to Ilya, Adam, Tasha, and Helen for their collaboration. Mira, Greg, and the entire leadership team, including Jakub, Simon, Alexander, everyone who has shown outstanding dedication. He believed as they move forward, the company's immediate focus includes advancing research, enhancing safety measures, improving products, and establishing a diverse board. However, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, claims he has no animosity toward Ilya Sutskever, a former board member. He stated, I love and respect Ilya. I think he's a guiding light of the field and a gem of a human being. I harbor zero ill will towards him, Altman said in a message to the company. According to Taylor, the organization's new board chair, OpenAI sponsor Microsoft, will receive a non-voting board observer position. On the same day, Altman told the company, while Ilya will no longer serve on the board, we hope to continue our working relationship and are discussing how he can continue his work at OpenAI. That being said, what does this mean for people at the bottom of the AI food chain? 
with Altman back in charge and Project Q probably getting the go-ahead. Other AI experts are likewise concerned about potential advances in AGI, arguing that the field is developing too quickly to fully realize the potential of this technology. OpenAI thinks that the benefits of artificial intelligence outweigh the possible hazards. But as the innovative startup keeps moving forward with its development, many worry that Altman's business is putting profit ahead of the welfare of its customers and society at large. The quest of artificial general intelligence continues, despite with much uncertainty, as the consequences for economies, labor markets, and the basic structure of human existence are still heavily debated. OpenAI's commitment to advancing research, improving safety measures, and fostering diversity on its board signals a dedication to responsible development. It is important for the AI community and society at large to proceed cautiously when venturing into uncharted territory in artificial intelligence, AI, to ensure that the advantages of AGI remain in harmony with human welfare as the future develops. Thank you for joining us on this insightful exploration of the AI frontier. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell.